Uganda, an agriculture country, is considered to be the food basket of East Africa and therefore with capacity to adequately feed her population. But its progress in reducing malnutrition remains very slow despite the tremendous improvement in economic growth and poverty reduction over the past 20 years. This is very disastrous for a country whose biggest population percentage are children below the age of 18. According to the 2011 Uganda Demographic and Health Survey, 33% of children under the age of 5 are stunted, while 49% are suffering from anemia. Most of our interventions are aimed at the mother and the young child. And uh, we are now also looking at the adolescent as part of our interventions. But as a government, of course, we would like to see a healthy population regardless of target, uh, regardless of gender or sex. The child that is properly fed will do well in school because the brain formation will be good, will be healthy, will do sporting, will do um, the, all the demands at school very well. So the education will improve. So it will improve on other national statistics for the population. So the human index or human indices will improve if we focus on nutrition. You have an all-round person, properly developed. A farm nutritional foundation is a must for the life cycle of every child if dividends of their growth are to be realized by the economy and development of any country. Good feeding for every child is critical for its proper growth, productivity and health. The desire for Uganda to embrace a multi-sectoral approach to address malnutrition makes it one of the first 20 countries to sign up for the Scaling Up Nutrition Movement in 2010. What SUN movement does is the, the learnings from the different continents and the learnings from the different countries. We come together as operatives on, on nutrition and discuss matters various. And we see what is adaptable for Uganda and we use those lessons and good practices on, in, in our own context. And we also share good practices which are taken on. Like I've said, the coordination practice here is unparalleled because I do these meetings and many, many countries are hailing Uganda and are visiting Uganda to see how we do it. Further, the first ever multi-sectoral nutrition action plan was developed and officially launched by His Excellency President Yori Museveni in 2011, which seeks to reduce levels of malnutrition among women of reproductive age, infants and young children. <laughs> So that's why this multi-sectoral nature comes in. You cannot do away without education because we are educating these children in schools. Agriculture will bring in their um, expertise in food production. Water and environment, wash, you can't talk about good nutrition when you, your sanitation is terrible. So that brings in about the multi-sectoral nature of nutrition. It might look as a health problem, but really we have to work together as a team to be able to achieve our main objective of good nutritional status. Investing in nutrition is economically sound and has been identified as the best investment to save mothers' and children's lives while improving children's education outcomes, which in turn will boost economic productivity. This requires sustained effort and investment in nutrition for Uganda to be free of malnutrition in the near future. <laughs> Nina 
kwenda ngazagwa ina magara maroni lero ya mara kuzagwa eranyeje sa umanze wa mara kumutera hasibati umanzo muhibe so we are going back to the basics sitting down with the community agreeing with them that there is a danger and then they are provoked to take action and then also uh, guided to come up with by rules that every household should have a backyard garden of fruits and vegetables every garden every household should have a store for food every garden should uh, have uh, water and sanitation facilities Uganda has done quite a lot. Uh, first of all, the leadership in Uganda, the political leadership, is very committed to improving nutrition in Uganda. The, His Excellency, the President of Uganda, signed off the Uganda Nutrition Action Plan. And he is behind having a health nation. Nutrition coordination in Uganda has been positioned at the highest political level within the office of the Prime Minister with structures spread out to the district level and through partnerships with UNICEF, USAID and the European Union to implement the multi-sectoral approach to malnutrition through strengthened planning and budgeting for nutrition at the district level, delivery of quality nutrition services at facility and community levels and mainstreaming gender for improved nutrition. We have now put in place district nutrition coordination committees in only all the 112 districts of Uganda and we intend to go further down at the sub county level and thereafter to the village LLC one level so that we can reach out to the to the to the child who is in the village we have been successful we have developed uh, many strategies the office of the prime minister has been very strategic in leading uh, this uh, multi-sectoral nature of the UNAP, and I think we have achieved a lot in terms of political will, in terms of uh, technical support from different partners.